Hi, I'm Alex, this is Built from Sketch, and today I'm going to show you how to build this spellier for two apple trees. First I prepared the angle iron by grinding off the mill scale and removing the rough fur. Actually the first step is more important because we're going to ram these bastards into the ground anyway. Then I used these magnetic angle things to line the angle irons up and tack them together on both sides. Then I welded them together. You don't actually have to weld them all the way but hey, that's a good practice. I welded them using my Kempi Minarch 180 EVO running 3.2mm basic 7016 rods on about 120 to 130 amps. The Kempi did a perfect job without overheating. As you can imagine it was about 32 degrees Celsius these days, so I was kind of worried but it worked just fine. Then I grinded off the mill scale on the top plates and removed the burr because these ones will stick out of the ground later. Then I used the same electrodes to weld them onto the anchors using 10 amps more, so about 130 to 140 amps. Then we started punching them into the ground. The ground here is just the worst you can imagine for this because it's super soft but including so many stones that I was struggling to get them sit solid. Then we used a cord to line them up and obviously a bubble level to level them. In the next step we set down the poles and used two bubble levels to make them sit as plumb as possible. Then I tacked them and welded them to the anchor. This seems to be a little bit strange because you could weld the pole to the anchor and punch them into the ground afterwards. Well, this would make sure that the anchor and the pole are aligned perfectly, but that's pretty trivial for the function and it makes punching and aligning the poles much harder. So we made it this way and it also worked out just fine. I made two of the poles by welding two flat irons 20 by 5 together like this. Then we used the cord again to mark a level line on all poles so we could clamp the spokes to the poles and weld them on.
cut off the leftover material on the right side and welded in some diagonal braces. They are actually not necessary, but it gives this thing a look from a time a few hundred years ago where things were actually built to last. Finally, I bended and drilled some flat iron to fasten the framing to the wall. I bended them with two angles, the first being 90, the other being 15 degrees. This way, water will always run from the wall side to the espalier and will not down the concrete of my neighbor's garage and carry any kind of rusty particles with it to the white wall. In addition, I used some heavy-duty industrial silicone to seal the downs. I painted the brackets only half the way and I didn't paint the espalier because once a plant is growing on it, you can never repaint it. The white paint will just protect the wall from rusty water. Finally, it was time to plant the trees. These are some traditional German breeds and both trees together were like about 70 euros. Then, you just simply use some organic cord to tie the twigs to the espalier by retying them from time to time, you will fit the shape of the tree to this metal.